Hello out there, everybody. Manny here at Area 503. And I hope you all have been well since our last video. Today I've got some interesting footage sent in to me by a couple of different viewers of the channel. They've asked me to take a look at it and I want to show it to you guys and get your opinions on it as well. So let's take a peek at this footage and see if we can't figure it out together. The first piece of footage that I want to show you folks was sent into the channel by a viewer named James. James drew this awesome map showing us the UFO's movement to help us get an idea of how it was traveling while he was witnessing it. This is the first video. The object is clearly moving in one direction, and then it pauses and disappears for a second, then it reappears, but it's moving at a 90 degree angle to its previous movement. That's pretty strange. That type of movement right there reminds me of a commercial drone, you know, like a DJI Mavic or something. And that really is my initial reaction here. This, this does strongly resemble a drone. But I only feel that way because drones are the most common man-made object that can stop and change direction like that. But that's just my initial reaction. Let's check out the next piece of footage. This is the second piece of footage that James shot and this time the UFO is moving back towards him. So we get a really good clear look at this thing. It kind of looks like it's pulsing light for some reason, but it could be reflecting light. Hmm. And now it's pulsing red light for some reason. What's that all about? Why is it white most of the time and now red right here for some reason? The only thing that I can think of to explain that is that this footage was shot at about 9 o'clock p.m., which I'm guessing was around sunset. So this might be some sort of orange light reflecting off the UFO from the horizon of the sunset. It's only a theory, but it's the only one that I got at this point. <laughs> so the only thing that I can think of that this is, is like I said earlier, a commercial drone. So I asked James if he had heard a drone that day while he was out filming. And he said, no way. He didn't hear a drone, and the only drone that he's ever seen out there is his own, because James also told me that he's a drone owner and operator himself, and he's very familiar with drones, and he really didn't think this was a drone. So what do you all make of that? It's clearly not a satellite or an airplane, it just doesn't behave like one of those. It does strongly resemble a drone, but you never hear it, and James is an experienced drone operator, and he didn't seem to think it was a drone. There really isn't enough evidence to make a concrete decision, but we can throw some speculation out there. What do you guys think it was that James filmed over there? Let James and I know in the comment section below. Let's see if we can't help him figure out what it is. Let's move along to our next piece of footage. This one was sent in by a viewer named Sam who wrote, Hi, I have a couple of short clips that I took with my iPhone while in Madrid during January this year. It was in the middle of the day. I checked with the night sky app to see if it was some star or planet, but it wasn't either of them. I watched it for between 5 to 10 minutes, stay in exactly the same spot. It was difficult to know if I actually caught anything with the camera at the time. I wish I could have taken better footage. But who doesn't think that when they see an abnormality? I carried on walking through the park as I was with my friends and family and they probably thought I was nuts. It was probably another 10 minutes later and I didn't see it anymore when I looked for it. Thanks for taking a look. Sam. Well, you got it, Sam. I'd love to take a look at your footage for you. And I don't think you're nuts for stopping in the middle of a walk to film some strange UFO. I think that's awesome, dude. Keep it up. <laughs> Let's take a look at what Sam filmed. Wow, that is so bright. I can totally understand why you stopped and started filming it. What could be so bright that you can see it in the broad daylight like that? Is it the light of a distant star or galaxy? I don't think so because Sam said that he checked the sky up and it didn't show anything like that. So what does that leave us with? It could be something like a Google Loon Balloon or something like that. Those will hang around for a while sometimes and they appear white like this. And I know that they have similar projects overseas so we can't rule out that this is some sort of large balloon of some kind, either a weather balloon or a communications balloon. Hmm, what else could it be? Just like the previous sighting, it's entirely possible that some kind of drone is just hovering there, perhaps doing some kind of time-lapse filming or something like that. 
A commercial drone would definitely appear like this and it could also hover there for this length of time, so we can't rule out that possibility. On the topic of drones, it's also possible that this could be some kind of large military drone. Although I really don't think that's likely, because those drones tend to move ever so slightly. They kind of look like a slow moving star. So the odds that it's a military drone is not very good. And of course, I would be remiss in my duties as a ufology expert in the field if I didn't at least mention the possibility that this could be a paper lantern. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Sam. But seriously, I only have one more earthly explanation for you, and that is that this could be some kind of top secret military test program of some kind. But the same could be said about pretty much any unproven UFO sighting, so don't place too much stock in that. And that's about all that I got for earthly explanations in your sighting, Sam. However, we cannot rule out the possibility that this could be a vehicle or a life form from another planet. We simply cannot prove anything with video footage alone from a single source. All we can really say for sure is that there's something there and it appears abnormal. So since we can't prove anything, let's go ahead and speculate just a little bit. <laughs> I've told you guys what I think about James and Sam's UFO sightings and what they might be. What do you all think they are? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get some eyes on these sightings and maybe we can figure out what they are together. And while you're down in that general area, if you haven't gotten a chance to subscribe to the channel yet, go ahead and give us a shot. Why not? It's the only way to get up to the minute notifications when the latest Area 503 video comes out. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I just want to give a quick shout out to my pal Bubbles. I heard that you were in the hospital and you had a surgery. I just hope that you're recovering well and that you get back to us and get strong, buddy. With everything that's going on this year, it's a trying time and it's hard enough as it is. So get well, get strong, take care of yourself, man, and I'll see you soon. Well guys, for now, that's all I've got on viewer submitted UFO sightings. I'll catch you all later. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503, and I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.